I'm just letting you know that I do hold a big position in this company. All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. I did a video yesterday of four stocks on my watch list that had hit their 52-week low on Friday. Well, today the stock market got beat up badly again. So I bring you five more stocks on my watch list that hit their 52-week low today. So if that's content that you're interested in, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and drop a note down below to let me know whether or not you like these types of videos. Okay, before I get started, I want to let you know all five of these stocks are on my watch list. So these are not just five garbage stocks I went out and found that happened to hit their 52-week low. I own a couple of them. I don't own a couple of them. I'll let you know which ones as we go. But all of these are stocks that I follow that are on my watch list, and I think you're going to know most of these stocks because they're pretty popular retail stocks. So the first one that I want to go through is ChargePoint Holding, stock ticker CHPT. ChargePoint is an EV charging station company, and today they hit their 52-week low. So you'll see, if you look down here at the day's range and the 52-week range, you'll see that $14.09 was today's low and the 52-week low. So it did close a little higher than that at $14.30. So it rallied a bit at the end of the day, but still down on the day and hit its 52-week low on the day today. Let's go take a look at the chart. So the first thing we'll do is measure its 52-week low. So this is from January 26th of 2021 to today, January 18th of 2022. ChargePoint is down about 68% from its 52-week high. And if you look and see, you can see that actually just a few weeks earlier, it was a bunch higher than that. This stock had gotten almost up to $50. So if I measure from, from its recent high there until it's closed today, that's over 71.5% down. So ChargePoint is a very beaten down. It's in the EV sector. And the EV sector in general got beat up today. But more specifically, a lot of the smaller EV stocks have been getting destroyed over the last six months. So I'm just going to show you one more measurement on this one, just to put it in perspective. So this one is just a measurement from November 17th to January 18th. That's just two months. So in the last two months, ChargePoint is down over 50%. These are all stocks that took a giant beating, some of them most of the year, uh, and in particular, in the last two months, these a lot of these small cap stocks have gotten just destroyed. So again, this one's down about 50% just in the last two months and 71% from its high from last December. So I do not own ChargePoint. It's been on my watch list for a long time. I just felt it was wildly overvalued. It's starting to get to a point where I may be interested in opening a position. So I do not have a position in this yet. I may wait and see if it pulls back some more because they're beating up these EV stocks pretty badly. And so I think there's a chance this could continue to pull back. But again, this is not financial advice. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know whether or not I own the stock. So in this case, I don't own ChargePoint yet, but they are very much on my radar. The next stock I want to go through is Fubo TV, stock ticker F-U-B-O. Fubo is a streaming service that basically will replace your cable TV, and in addition to that, with a heavy focus on sports. They also bought a company in an attempt to add sports betting interactively with their sports experience. So that's an overview of who Fubo is and what they do. So... Once again, today, they hit their 52-week low. So they closed at $12.33, down 6.02% on the day. If you look at the day's range and you look at the 52-week range, today's low of $12.14 is the 52-week low. So this stock hit their 52-week low today. So Fubo hit its 52-week high last January 26th. So it's almost a year later. It's now January 18th of 2022. And Fubo is down over 77% from its 52-week high. And just like the last stock, it actually was a little bit higher than that just a month earlier. So if we measure from its all-time high just a month earlier in December of 2020 to today, Fubo is down over 80%. Lastly, again, I just want to show how badly stocks got beat up in the fourth quarter of last year and really in January so far of this year. So for Fubo, if you go back just two and a half months to November 4th, 
they are down almost 65% in the last two and a half months. So another very beaten down stock. This is on my watch list. I have owned this stock in the past. I don't own it right now. But once again, this is getting to a level that is very interesting to me. I never dreamed that I would see Fubo down in the $12 range again. So I have not bought in yet just because there are so many things hitting their all-time low. I'm, ha I'm having to pick and choose which one is the best opportunity. Again, this is not financial advice, but I am looking very closely at Fubo. If it wasn't for the fact that so many other things were already at their 52-week low that I bought into, I probably already would have bought into this one. But as it is, I do not own any Fubo at the moment. I also want to be real clear about all these stocks that I'm going through today, as well as all the ones that I went through in my video yesterday. These stocks could keep falling. Some of these stocks will keep falling. There's probably opportunities in the future at lower price points on these stocks. So one of the things that I like to do, you know, if this is a stock you're interested in, part of my process is I will set a price target. So for instance, for me on both ChargePoint and Fubo, if these stocks get down in the $10 range or under $10, they will definitely be buys for me at that point. They may or may not get there. So, but, you know, I don't have enough money to buy every stock that hit its 52-week low because unfortunately... There's a massive amount of stocks that are at or near their 52-week low right now. Okay, the next stock I want to go through is a stock called CleanSpark, stock ticker CLSK. For those of you familiar with my channel, you will know that this is a Bitcoin miner. We do a lot of Bitcoin miners, and I've made several videos on CleanSpark. So if you want to go back and get a deeper dive, you can take a look at some of the videos that I've made recently and in the past on CleanSpark. So CleanSpark today hit its 52-week low. So if you look at the day's range and the 52-week range, $7.40 it hit intraday today, and that was its 52-week low. It closed at $7.43, down 9.17%. So I do own this stock. In fact, it is one of my largest positions. So this is a very big position for me. I have a very high level of conviction in this stock. So let's go through the chart. And again, this is not financial advice. I can't tell you guys what to buy. I'm just letting you know that I do hold a big position in this company. Okay, so if I measure from February 18th, 2021, which was CleanSpark's 52-week high, which was over $40, down to its low today, CleanSpark is down over 81%. So... This stock has been destroyed, and I'm going to do one more quick calculation. Okay, so here again, like the last stock, if I just go from November 4th through today, which is about two and a half months, this stock is down 70%. So this stock has been destroyed in the fourth quarter and in the first part of January here in 2022. This is a very common theme, as all of you guys are probably familiar. These small cap stocks and the Bitcoin miners have really, really gotten hit. So again, not financial advice, but I do own this stock. This is already in my portfolio, and I will continue to buy this on the dip if it continues to dip, most likely. The fourth stock that I want to go through is Romeo Power, stock ticker RMO. Romeo closed at $3.05 today, down 2.24%. Romeo is also in the EV sector. They make battery fuel cells for larger commercial vehicles. Today's range will show you that $3.01 was the low on the day, and that was also the 52-week low. So let's go to the chart and see what this one looks like. Okay, so technically the 52-week low was on January 26th, 2021, almost one year ago. So from then until now, this stock is down about 86%, which is drastic. But you can see this stock was actually much higher just less than a month earlier than that. So I'm just going to show you the total change in this stock. So from December 28th, when it hit its all-time high until today, so that is just a little bit over one year, this stock is down 93%. I also own this stock in our 10K to 100K challenge. Uh, I, I do a video every Saturday updating that, so you can check out my previous video if you want to know more about that. Or there's a link to our Discord in the pinned comment below, so you can check that out on the Discord. It is free to join, so all are welcome. So I am down a little bit on this stock, but fortunately I did not buy it anywhere near its 52-week high or its all-time high. So this is another one that I have averaged into over the last few months. And I probably will continue to average into this if it keeps going down. 
The very last stock, the fifth stock, is a company called Palantir Technology, stock ticker PLTR. I'm sure you guys mostly have heard of this stock. This is very popular among retail traders. This is a software company. They have contracts with the Defense Department. Today, they closed at $14.97, which was down 6.5% on the day. Today's range, it got down to $14.92, which is its 52-week low. This stock only closed five cents off of its 52-week low, and it hit that low today. So let's take a look at the chart on this one. Okay, so for Palantir, you'll see from its high on January 26th of 2021 until today, it is down about 66%. This stock was trading at about $45 a year ago, and it is now under $15 today. I do not own Palantir. This is on my watch list, but this is another stock that I believe has some more downside. I don't think they're done beating this up yet, so... It is on my watch list. I'm watching it, but again, I'm probably looking for this stock under $10 if it gets there. So again, it may never get there, and this is not financial advice, so please make up your own decisions. But those are my five stocks on my watch list, two of which I already own, three of which I'm looking to potentially buy if they can hit a certain price point. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.